Hi, I'm Dr. Kiko Gladshow. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about sun protection and why we dermatologists nag everybody about protecting their skin from the sky. Okay, so I'm going to show you a picture that's been widely seen on the internet that was in the New England Journal of Medicine. And, and this is why we're nagging you. When you see this guy, you can see on one side of his face, he has a lot of sun damage from being a truck driver for more than 20 years. And that side of his face was getting a lot of ultraviolet radiation through the, wind, through the side window, while you can see one side of his face um, had a lot of protection from the sun because it was the side toward the cab. The reason why we always are talking about um, sun protection is because we're trying to protect you from ultraviolet uh, radiation. Ultraviolet radiation is a carcinogen. It's the major cause of non-melanoma skin cancer, and it definitely plays a role in melanoma as well. It's also um, the most important thing that makes people look old and wrinkled, and that's why you want to avoid it. It's also an important cause, actually, of other non-skin related problems, such as cataracts and pterygium. That's where the white part can grow over the colored part of your eye. So when dermatologists are worried about um, protecting yourself from the sun, they're really worried about ultraviolet radiation. And that's because ultraviolet radiation is an important cause of skin cancer, both skin cancers like basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma. It's also an important cause of aging. And that's the thing everybody worries about, wrinkles. In fact, it also causes other types of damage to the body, specifically to the eye. It causes cataracts and pterygium, which is where the white part grows over the colored part of your eye. So the basics of ultraviolet radiation are the things that we're worried about, UVA radiation, I always think A, aging, and UVB, burning. Burning is the one that most regular people think about when they think about the sun. That's the one where you get a sunburn. It's worse at noon than, say, 7 in the morning. It's worse in July than in January. And that's the one that people are usually worried about when they're looking for sun protection. So when you're looking at, uh, say, a sunscreen, like say this Neutrogena sunscreen, there'll be something that says SPF. That's the sun protection factor. That's only referring to the UVB part. It turns out that UVA is probably just as important in, in causing uh, skin cancers and other damage to the sun, to, excuse me, to the skin. And in fact, UVA actually penetrates deeper into the skin and it's probably the most important cause of things like wrinkles and aging. That one is actually the same all day long. It's the same at seven in the morning as at noon. And that's the one that a lot of people kind of think, well, I went running at six in the morning, so I don't really have to protect myself from the sun. And that's actually a myth. So why do we worry so much about sun protection? Well, for one thing, prevention is better than cure. If you can protect your sun from the self from the sun, you're not gonna have to worry about getting a facelift later or having skin cancers cut out of your face. And we do know that um, one in five adults in this country is going to develop some kind of skin cancer. And that's definitely something that you want to avoid. So how much sunscreen should you use? Well, if you read all the data, they say the average person, if you're going to cover yourself from head to toe, you need about a shot glass size amount of sunscreen. And let's face it, no, most people are not putting that much sunscreen on in real life. They may be doing it in the lab to get the number, but in real life they're not doing it. So one thing you need to do is try to cover yourself and seek shade. When people are putting on sunscreen, they're not putting, they might only be putting on half as much sunscreen as they're supposed to. But you can't put on half a hat. So probably more important are things like hats and rash guards because that's going to shade you from UVA and UVB radiation. And you can't sweat it off. You don't have to re worry about reapplying it. So I think we want to prevent you from getting sun damage, wrinkles. Even though it's uh, good for our business, it's definitely not good for you. So you try to cover up as much as you can and wear hats, rash guards, and stay out of the sun.